I think the fish is ground up within the whole porridge. Everyone, good morning. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Jeonju, South Korea. I'm having a quick breakfast at the hotel, and then pretty soon we are getting ready to leave to a county on a day trip called Muju. I cannot miss my kimchi and eggs for breakfast. It is a great combination, by the way. Fried egg. Oh, fried egg with kimchi. which is a big ski mountain snow resort area in South Korea. And although it is spring right now, so there is no snow left, it is still a really nice area to come to enjoy the mountains. And I think we're gonna have a chance to ride the ski lift to the top of the mountain for a view. That took about 15 minutes and it went straight up the face of the mountain. We are pretty high now. Beautiful views. Oh yeah, it is much colder up here than below. And that is some pure fresh mountain air. <sighs> we have found the last patch of snow on the mountain. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it is on its last leg, but that is snow. We just got back into the gondola and we are heading back down to the Muju town and we're gonna have lunch. That is an incredible picture on the side of this restaurant. Look how many side dishes that is. Good thing this is where we're eating. This restaurant is called Perlmi Garden and they especially are known for serving mountain vegetables and mountain herbs, things that are gathered right in this area on the in their mountain range. And so we are gonna eat bibimbap, which is their mixed rice dish with all the different mountain herbs and greens. <laughs> If you just look around this restaurant, you will see piles of fresh herbs and vegetables from the mountain that they are cleaning and preparing to serve. And another interesting thing about this restaurant is, I'm not sure if you can see behind me, but there is an entire trophy cabinet full of trophies and medals. And then there's a picture of a ski jumper and he is the owner's son who is a professional ski jumper who represents South Korea as a ski jumper so that's pretty cool. I've had bibimbap many times before but this is a different type using all the different mountain herbs and vegetables. It's called sanche bibimbap and so there are a mixture of looks like both fresh and pickled and cured and chilied vegetables. There's a fried egg in here and oh yeah that's the all the chili paste at the bottom there and the rice is actually served on the sides so you first put in the rice mix in the rice and then using chopsticks you got to mix up everything there's the fried egg keep that fried egg on the side mix it up with that chili paste and all those mountain herbs and vegetables Oh, and a, and a piece of jelly as well. Okay, I think I'm pretty well mixed. The rice looks nice and red in color, and all of those vegetables are thoroughly mixed in there. And you can really smell the aroma of vegetables coming off of this and those bean sprouts. And then normally, you eat it with your spoon. 
Oh, and I think right there on the top, that's a mushroom, a mountain mushroom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that on my first bite. Mmm, that definitely has a more earthy nature kind of taste to it than other bibimbaps that I've had. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that mushroom is amazing. It's like a, a chewy fungus with a very strong mushroom flavor. And the chili paste tastes not as sweet as other versions. Or maybe that's just the, the quantity of the chili paste in it. I'm not sure, but really good. Those all sorts of different textures of vegetables. Some are chewy, some are crisp, some are juicy. And I really like those mushrooms. Some pickled garlic. Yeah. Mm. Although it is pungent in flavor, it's not like a burning garlic flavor because it's been pickled like that. Let me try this mountain vegetable. Mm -hmm. Has a little bit of a, a sandpaper texture. Not a really strong flavor. A little bit of a, a green, a green nature jungle flavor to it. That is very tangly. Mmm. Well, that's, that kind of tastes like, tastes a little mossy. Mmm, very greenish. Tasting with a little bit of a sour, lemony fragrance. In addition to Muju being a famous ski resort mountain destination, it's also home to one of the biggest Taekwondo, which is the martial art of Korea complexes and there's a museum but we are now at the taekwondo complex wow this is the taekwondo stadium i didn't realize this at first and i thought it was kind of strange that there's a taekwondo a giant taekwondo complex kind of in the middle of nowhere in the countryside in the mountains but that's because muju is the birthplace of Taekwondo and so many people that practice Taekwondo this is kind of a, a pilgrimage destination. I am walking through the Taekwondo Museum now. It's a very new museum and it's supposedly the only dedicated Taekwondo Museum in the world. It's pretty state-of-the-art too and it just walks through the history of Taekwondo, how it was formed and how it developed throughout Korea and all the way up until modern and I think in this plot complex they also have Taekwondo lessons and championships and all sorts of things. We are on our way next to eat another dish, Korean dish, that is famous in the Muju area which is a type of fish porridge. This place is called Gumkang Shiktang and I got a table with a, my back right up next to the, the fish tank. These might be the fish we're gonna eat. It's always nice to be sitting really close to your food when it's live before it's served. The fish porridge has just arrived along with a couple of different banchan dishes. There's the daikon radish kimchi, which is completely iced, it's like slushy kimchi and then the fish porridge, some vegetables. It's red in color. There's some chives on top, I think. And then I'm not sure what this is, some kind of ground ground nuts maybe. And then rice and pieces of fish. Piece of fish, I think. Okay, let me stir this around a little bit. And oh yeah, that looks really hot. I better get a piece of fish. This is not fish, these are some kind of like little dumplings. I think the fish is ground up within the whole porridge. I can already tell this is gonna be scorching hot. It's like that gravy texture that just retains heat. Mm. Oh, you can immediately taste in there is the perilla leaf. Oh, that has a, a really minty kind of flavor and even even like tingle on the tongue. You definitely get a lot of that perilla leaf flavor 
which I didn't, I don't even see the perilla leaves, but it must be kind of ground up within the, the sauce. Mm. That is very good. This is a, a porridge that you want to kind of slurp almost like a noodle because it's so hot and and like comforting. Let's see what those little dumplings are. Mm. It tastes kind of like a noodle. That's like a noodle, like a like a macaroni. Try the icy daikon. Oh. That sent my mouth into a shock because it's so hot from eating the porridge. Oh, that hurts my tooth. Mmm. Chili. And dip it into this. It looks like, it looks like refried beans. A bean sauce. Mmm. Oh. That's a very salty, kind of fermented bean sauce, I think. It's pretty salty though, so just a little bit. We made it back to Junchu and we ate that rice porridge, which was really good at about 4 p.m. But Ying and I are both still kind of hungry, so we've had kind of a lot of rice today. I think we're gonna stop by and eat some grilled meat next. This is a restaurant that we have just walked past a couple times that I believe has barbecue meat. We're gonna check it out. No, I'm very young. This restaurant actually does not serve barbecue grilled meat at all. I am, I am completely mistaken. But it specializes in gamjatang, which is the pork spine soup, which I ate a couple days ago, and also a dish called sambap, which I just ordered. The sambap has just arrived, and we're not having barbecue, but we are using the burner, which is in the middle of the table, for a hot pot of bulgogi, which is uh, marinated beef. And he just brought out the most impressive platter of raw vegetables that I've seen so far in Korea. There's just an entire garden's worth of raw leaves on this platter. I don't know what the, the red one is. It almost looks like Swiss chard or that's like rhubarb. And then herbs, some chilies. I'm gonna try to mix everything a little bit. Oh, there's all the beef. Oh yes. Time to eat some meat. and the mushrooms. We weren't really sure what we were gonna get, so we got a little insurance dish, which is the gamjatang, which is that pork spine soup. So we got this just kind of as an extra. Oh yeah, one of my favorite dishes. But I gotta start with one of these um, lettuce wraps. I'm gonna take a piece of lettuce and then also go with one of these red veiny pieces, leaves. And then a main part of this dish is rice. Add this to the leaf. And then I think you're supposed to add some of this bean paste. And then also I'm gonna go in for some of that beef, some mushrooms. Put this into the wrap. And one, one biter again. What I love about eating all of, so many different dishes which you wrap up in leaves is that you are supposed to eat the entire thing in one bite. And sometimes it can be a really big bite, which I enjoy. And that was a really big bite. The beef is really tender, a little bit sweet and salty. And you can taste those mushrooms and the onions in there. And then what I really like is all those, those, that leaf of lettuce and that other leaf. And then the bean paste has a little bit of a cheesy fermented taste to it. I think it's a fermented bean paste. That's a complete meal in one single bite. Now all I need to do is eat 50 more of them. I'm working through this garden right now. That is a lot of leaves that I'm gonna try to eat through. There are two different types of chilies, a big, a bigger one and a smaller one. Let me taste this smaller one. Mm. Oh. That is a little bit spicy. Oh. oh, I could feel that, like the fumes of that chili going down my throat a little bit. I think I'll grab a leaf and I think this chill, the rest of this chili needs to be wrapped. Oh yeah. That chili is burning a little bit, that's wonderful. Let me grab some beef. 
All right, that, I think that's good. Just leaf and, leaf and meat. My first time to try sambap. It was really good. We're just gonna head back to the hotel from here, so I am gonna end the video now. Thank you all very much for watching today's video, our day trip to Muju. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also make sure you leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos and I will see you on the next video. For this one, I'll go with a different leaf set. This leaf and this leaf. Oh, that is a, that's like, that looks kind of like kale. That might be enough, enough leaves for this bite. I'm just gonna go some rice, some of the beef, and I'll reach in for some of the onions. This time I'm gonna go for some, a little bit of kimchi instead of that paste. Wow, this is a lot of, a lot of green in one bite. <laughs> okay, I may have overdone it on that bite.